Welcome to the Tyco Electronics FOS450 Fiber Optic Splice Closure Training Video. This video will provide an overview of how to install FOS450 butt style fiber optic splice closures. FOS450 closure sizes range from the smallest, the 450A closure, to the largest, the 450D closure. For the purpose of this training video, we will use the newest closure, the FOSS 450C. FOSS 450 closures use a unique one-piece gel seal to seal cables entering the closure. For the dome to base seal, a mechanical clamp and O-ring are used. These design features allow quick and easy installations for a wide range of applications. Direct buried, below grade, above grade, pedestal and aerial. Installation Overview While the various size closures may differ slightly, all FOSS 450 closures use the same basic installation steps. 1. Remove the closure from packaging. 2. Prepare the cables. 3. Attach the cables. 4. Store slack and unspliced fibers. 5. Route, splice and store fibers. 6. Install the gel block. 7. Seal the closure and test the seal. Let's get started with the installation. Remove the closure from the packaging. The closure will arrive in a pre-assembled state that will require removing the clamp separating the base and dome and removing the base from the cable retention plate also called the star bracket. Once removed, insert the cables to be installed through the base of the closure and slide the base out of the way. It is critical the base be placed onto the cables prior to cable termination as it will be impossible to add it later without undoing much of the installation work. Prepare the cables. Using typical cable preparation techniques, prep the cables to the dimensions described in the installation instructions. When using loose buffer tube style cables, center the cable reverse point where possible to allow easy separate and routing of the fiber tubes. Note that depending upon the type of cable to be spliced, whether loose buffer tube cable or a ribbon central core tube cable, routing procedures can vary. The installation instructions provide plenty of detail regarding prep lengths, etc. for the specific cable type. All FOSS 450 closures are capable of handling up to four small drop type cables per port. These small cables, which are defined as cables of 0.35 inches or less in outside diameter, require the use of multi-cable accessory kits. For installing up to three small cables in a port, use the three-cable version multi-cable accessory kit, which features a one-piece sealing device. For installing up to four small cables in a port, use the four-cable version multi-cable accessory kit, which uses gel wrap for sealing. 3. Attach the cables. Select and attach the strength member bracket to the cable. Install the cable retention clamp using a hose clamp. Once assembled, the cable and hardware will resemble this. Next, slide the cable retention hardware and cable into the appropriate slot of the star bracket. Be sure to install the main loop through cable in the lower slots of the star bracket. When using the FOSS 450A closure, note the closure has the cable retention feature built into the star bracket. Bring the cable to the closure, then install the appropriate strength member bracket. And secure it using the hose clamp. 
4. Store slack and unspliced fibers. Where slack storage is required, Tyco Electronics offers both standard and tall slack storage baskets for each closure size. Slack is stored in the baskets as follows. Separate the designated buffer tubes to be rounded and spliced from the expressed buffer tubes. Store the expressed buffer tubes in the bottom of the basket first, placing the designated buffer tubes on top, allowing easy accessibility in the future. To splice, route, mark, ring cut, and remove the excess buffer tube and clean the fibers per your approved practices. Add loose buffer tube wrap, route, and tie down designated tube to the tray for splice.